All right, what is up, guys? It's Hype Frag, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the season two battle pass. The trailer has just been released, so I'm going to be giving you guys an in depth overview of all the tiers and what to expect in the new battle pass. So, upon purchasing the battle pass, tier zero will give you new operator Naga, it will give you park operator skin and mission, it will give you Wellington Safari watch, and it will give you seasonal XP boost, which they do in every single battle pass they've released. Now the next thing that they've revealed is that the Farah 83 which is the assault rifle that's coming, I've mentioned this in my previous video, this will be unlocked at tier 15 and I'm assuming that it's free for everyone even if you don't own the battle pass. At tier 31 the LC10 SMG is going to be released as well, I think it's going to be the same as the assault rifle meaning that anyone can unlock this when they get to tier 31. So along with new operators they're giving new operator skins. The first one that has been released here is at tier 20 and this is called Renegade Adler skin and this comes with bonus XP and challenges to unlock some other skins also and it gives you some cooling cards. We then have Coyote Dust Power skin and this is unlocked at tier 70. It's the same with the Renegade skin, it will give you challenges, bonus XP and it will give you the ability to unlock extra skins. And then at tier 19, there's going to be plus the tactical role finishing move. There's also going to be some new war track packs. Now, if you do follow Call of Duty on Twitter, you'll have seen that they released one of the war track packs. And this is one of the ones that was in the Black Ops 2 main menu. So they've got the Black Ops 2 mixtape. This is earned at tier 44. And then they've got the rock pack 2 and pop pack at tier 72 and 94. Now these are the three war track packs, I'm assuming there's going to be some that you can buy. Also here they have that they've got new weapon blueprints. The Glade Ripper which is an LMG blueprint is free at tier 21, no one needs to have the battle pass to obtain this weapon. They have the first mate SMG blueprint at tier 27. And then they have the Dragon Idol SMG tier 55 unlock which is free to everyone also. So at tier 95 they have an ultra reactive weapon blueprint, now on the Call of Duty blog it says here a concept first introduced in Call of Duty Black Ops 4, this reactive prop property lets operators display their skill in real time by evolving their weapons appearance with kills during a match. For example, the Vulture Exor pulsates a green energy across the skeleton of a bird that wraps around the entire weapon. As an operator earns kills, this energy shifts from blue to orange and eventually red, signifying how much of a hot hand they have in the match. So I'm assuming what this is, is it could either be a light that changes colour depending on how well you're doing in the game, it could be a kill counter, I'm not really too sure but I think it's something along them lines. Now upon completion of the battle pass at tier 100, you get the Warlord Naga skin and Operator mission, you get a Poison Dart Legendary SMG blueprint. And of course with any battle pass completion you earn up to 13,000 COD points and then of course with any battle pass completion during the battle pass you earn around 13,000 COD points and you can use 1,000 to buy the battle pass again and then you have you get 300 to keep for yourself. So week 1 season 2 store highlights are going to be Dead Ops Arcade, Soul Reaper and New Melee Tool Invade the store. So there's going to be a Dead Ops Arcade reactive bundle. And there's going to be a river slasher bundle which will offer the first machete blueprint known as the backwater blade and they've said also available in the first week is the soul reaper bundle which includes two devilish legendary weapon blueprints and the terrifying warpath skin for sims now in week two it's going to be samantha maxis joins requiem's front lines in season two second week head to the store to find maxis operator bundle which will include samantha maxis as a playable operator and two weapon blueprints the ultra rarity z74u reactive smg blueprint that evolves as operators eliminate the living or the undead and the legendary neutralizer shotgun this bundle also includes a new maim and tame finishing move two animated emblems an animated calling card two stickers and a charm that may be a familiar sight for the mystery box regulars. So I'm guessing you're going to have a teddy bear charm. And finally the last bit of information they've released here is the week will feature the anime pilot bundle which comes with three weapon blueprints, the legendary flyboy, fast firing SMG and the legendary talon envy, three round burst tactical rifle and the legendary strafe run semi automatic shotgun. So in season 2 it looks like they're releasing a lot of weapon blueprints, 
but if you guys enjoyed today's video and you want to stay notified for any new season 2 content anything to do with black ops call of duty cold war make sure you hit the bell icon stay tuned for every upload that i make leave a like comment share and subscribe and it has been the hype frag